good morning. Welcome to Your Boat Counts. I'm Scott Mitchell. This is John Eccles. This is Jason Dunnington. And the controversy of the week, well, there's several of them, but the fact is this private school voucher that was passed, or tax credit, what everybody wants to call, was supposed to cost X. It's costing Y. There's a big discussion about this. Help us understand. Yeah, well, the cost that we're talking about is the cost to the agency that's supposed to implement it, which is the Oklahoma Tax Commission. They had originally thought it would cost them about a million dollars to implement this. It's going to cost them 2.9 more million dollars, so $4 million in total, which I'm not sure anyone's surprised uh, that a state agency is going to have to spend more money to do a tax credit for some of the wealthiest Oklahomans uh, in our state. Look, I've said all along on the show that I thought vouchers was a bad idea. Let's spend our tax dollars in our public schools. Let's make sure that they're as robust as possible. Um, this just takes us into the weeds and stuff we shouldn't have to be arguing about on a Sunday morning. Okay, so you say vouchers, people get lathered up versus tax credits. Help us break down the story from your perspective. Yeah, well, 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 first, it clearly is a tax credit, not a voucher, but what, it, what the key is, it's school choice in the state of Oklahoma. It's not only for rich people, this goes to the poorest among us first. It is a tiered system. So what we're talking about is it's gonna cost, when fully implemented, 0.16% of the total program. Here, here's the reality. For the first time in the history of the state of Oklahoma, you are going to have true statewide school choice. And we did fund public schools. We gave the largest investment in the history of the state of Oklahoma last year. They're your tax dollars and they're your kids. They're not the state's kids. This is a great tax credit program. I'm, I'm glad we're running it. And but I do agree. We need to continue the path of funding all, all schools. Okay. Now, one of the things we try to do is we try to take national and international stories break them down to how they affect Oklahoma City, Tulsa markets. And let's talk about this uh, this Hollywood strike actors thing being over with. The, the Guild has settled their differences. You know, Oklahoma has this movie rebate. One of the people most responsible for that is right over there. And we'll get into that in just a moment. But this really does impact the state of Oklahoma. They're back to work, and we're ready for more business in Oklahoma? Yeah, so the Screen Actors Guild has busted up their strike. They are all back to work. What people don't know is we have a very robust uh, movie industry in the state of Oklahoma. It's really being built, especially with places, places like Prairie Surf in Oklahoma City. It's doing a great job. Tulsa King did a lot of filming on location in Tulsa. I think, though, what you're going to see next year in the legislature, I, I think it because I'm going to file it, we're going to be looking at how do we make more of a live-action comedy movie scene, or really TV scene in the state of Oklahoma, how do we turn this into reoccurring jobs to really bring in events that we will like? Uh, we're going to be running that next year in the legislature, and I hope we get it done. But it's, it's really going well in Oklahoma City and really going well in Tulsa. We'll spread that out into rural Oklahoma. It's good for the state. Okay, now I know what he's going to be involved in. <laughs> a lot of things, I'm sure. But the one person who was, had a vision on this is Jason Dunnigan. He's in the legislature. You were taking leaders to Hollywood, to Atlanta. You did more than any bureaucrat. And now we're back to work. Tell us what you think. Well, I'm glad that the strike is over because if you, like me, um, enjoy to watch a little Netflix on the weekend, you were starting to wonder when are any of the shows going to have the next season. So having the strike over is going to be good for all of our entertainment value. Um, I think it's going to be really good for the state's economy. As my colleague said, Prairie Surf here in Oklahoma City um, has had lots of work come in. They've welcomed uh, the screen actors back and the writers. Um, you've also got the Cherokee Film Nation, that's a uh, film office that's doing a lot in Cherokee Nation. We have a robust film scene in Oklahoma, and it can grow from here. It's nice to see everybody back to work. You called it. Okay, coming up, you know, you're paying for that winter storm 2021 thing, and now there's some intrigue behind the scenes on that. We'll break it down for you when we come back. <laughs> 